Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm gonna be testing and trying out a full face first impressions. Well, hopefully I have enough products to do a full face, but if not, I'm just gonna include some of my favorites in this video as well. But I was gonna do a shop my stash kind of video, but then I got through my drawers and I noticed I have quite a few bits and pieces of makeup that I've never tried before. Some old, some new. I just thought I would just get this video out of the way and just do a full face first impressions, see what I think of these new products. So the first product I have here, I got this so long ago, it's actually embarrassing. So this is the Noid Photography Fluid Opacity 12%. But you can use this as a primer below foundation or you can apply this instead of foundation to balance out undesirable skin colour and tones and imperfections. Okay. I know I don't normally like to do this with my fingers if it's more of a highlighting primer but since it's the first impression, I always like to give it a wee bit of a feel, see what it feels like. So I'm just going to start by blending this in. What the hell is this? Is this supposed to look like that? <laughs> the reason I bought this is because I heard Jamie Genevieve talking about it and yeah, I don't think it looks like this on her. What? What? I'm so confused. Like, what? Like, it doesn't seem to look too bad on my cheeks, but it's just not blending. I definitely have to give this another go. This is awful. This video really isn't off to a great start, so I'm just going to jump on foundation now. So this is the Smashbox Full Coverage 24 Hour Foundation. This is the Studio Skin one. So this is their newest foundation. I have tried it a few times now, and so far so good. The first time I tried it, I was not a fan. I think what my issue was, was the fact that I applied far, far too much. So a little does go a long way with this foundation. I'm just going to apply that on the cheeks first, and I would say that's probably all I'm going to need. I'm so confused if that primer, please do let me know if any of you guys have tried this primer. Like, was it something I'd done wrong? Was I not using it correctly? Did I use too much? That is sometimes an issue with some of the products that I use. <laughs> but as you can see, I was not joking whenever I said that those wee scribbles of foundation on the face. Like, those two wee scribbles would do the entire face and it would be full coverage so I'll just give you the wee zoom in so you can see up close what that foundation looks like if you are newer here this is the second time I've tried it on camera so this is a new concealer I have never tried before and this is by the brand Note Cosmetics this is their full coverage concealer in the shade 01 Ivory I think this is the smallest concealer I have in my collection why? I don't know why I don't just conceal one eye and then just leave the other eye so you can actually see a difference on each side but you can definitely see that it has concealed and brightened but mm. it's done its job but it's I don't know I'm not blown away I'm going to apply a wee bit more just on this side just to see how it builds up and see how bright we can get this under eye it might be a concealer that I would take to Kyle's house in a makeup bag that I will just keep there just to have because it's nice, I'll wear it again, but it just wouldn't be my concealer of choice. It has reacted and is sitting okay, perfect with the foundation lying underneath. Um, it isn't starting to crease quickly, it's still a bit tacky, so I'm just waiting to see how it dries down. It doesn't say on the packaging how what the finish is, whether it's going to be quite a dewy concealer or a dry down matte. It just says that it's a full coverage concealer. Would I agree with that? I'm not too sure if I'm being honest. I would say medium to full coverage. As you can see, I did apply two layers, so it probably is buildable. So if you do find it not to be full coverage, you can build it up to be full coverage. Um, in terms of brightness and concealing, I think it done a grand job, to be honest. Again, not the best, but perfectly fine and also blend out pretty seamless as well. I have been loving cream contouring recently so I just like to dabble in quite a few times. Sometimes I'll use like the top of the lid just to take off any excess product because <sighs> cream contouring is absolutely fabulous as a base for your powder bronzer and it just gives the most beautiful finish, beautiful natural finish to the skin because it is a cream because you really can blend it and make it melt into the skin but it's also a really good way to mess up your foundation. And as you can see I'm just pressing the product on first of all then I will go in and start blending at it. 
but as you can see already it just blends out so effortless and easy just the brush just blends it out for you you don't even need to try with these products to blend them okay so i don't have a new powder to set with so i just used my usual i'm now going to go and spritz the skin soak up any excess powder before i go in and highlight contour and bronze all that good stuff so i recently got the morphe and jeffree star set and refresh mist The smell of it is very, very nice and I can definitely smell it on my face. So if you're somebody that does not like the smell or the scent of artificial strawberry, like a, you know, like a lip sole, like a strawberry lip sole. If you don't like the smell of that, smear it all over your face, really. I would maybe suggest to stay away. So I'm going to be using the Ofra highlight in Blissful. I got this for Christmas last year and I honestly do not think I have tried this. I have no idea. I honestly don't know if I've tried this or not. So... It is quite dark though. I'm scared. <laughs> so I'm just gonna put the... Oh no. Oh no. Oh no! Look how dark that is! Oh, flip sick. I'm just gonna have to do the other side to balance it out. with the Amrezy and Anastasia highlight. I'm gonna try and fix this situation. Again, I'm just gonna be taking the fan brush. Just ignore my cheeks. Just. <laughs> so this is the pretty vulgar tickled pink make them blush. So as you can see, it is a very, very nice pink. So pink to make the boys. Fuck off. I can assure you that not all men are trash. Being on Twitter and kind of now being exposed to this whole feminist world that we live in these days and men get trashed so hard over Twitter. It is, it is quite shocking actually and it's also a shame because yeah, there are shitty men out there there's also shitty women out there. I kind of find that the shitty men are just causing such a bad name for the good men that the good men are getting shat on as well. And just, I don't know, <laughs> just a <wee> bit shitty. <laughs> Again, this is from Note Cosmetics and this is their Terracotta Bronze and Powder in 04 Mocha Taste. So that's what it looks like there. It's got the tiniest bit of shimmer through it, which, if I'm being honest, I'm not too happy about it. I don't know why I bought this. Um, whoa. Okay. We're gonna go very, very light-handed with this bronzer just to see what it's like. Okay, so it's actually not that bad. <laughs> it's actually a very, very nice bronzer. I am pleasantly surprised. There definitely is like a wee bit of a sheen. There's no glitter or there's no sparkles or anything on it, but there definitely is a sheen but it is quite nice in the skin. I want to start on the lips first because this is kind of like a mauvey pink, I, I think anyway, lip cream from Burberry. So I can kind of figure out what direction I want to go with my eyeshadow. I actually was sent this, so I'm really, really looking forward to trying this. And um, this is in the shade Dark Rosewood. Ooh. This is my very first Burberry product too. I'm so excited. Oh. So that's the package in there. Oh. Yeah, that's nice. I actually really like that. It's such a beautiful color, absolutely gorgeous, especially for this time of year. It's definitely very, very comfortable. It doesn't seem to be the formula that it's going to completely dry down to be like a completely matte finish. This is definitely gonna be such a comfortable liquid lipstick to wear. Um, so I must actually check the other colors as well, to see what they have. This is by any means not new. I've tried this before, but I could probably count on one hand the many times I've used this palette. So I did dig this out for these two shades here, but I also have, <laughs> this is the Anastasia palette in collaboration with Jackie Ina. Tried it myself, you know, and this is actually the only Anastasia palette that they came out with, I would say since the Riviera palette. I've genuinely been like, yeah, I need that. 
because it is Jackina, I had to obviously support her. I'm sure so many people have said like the camera cannot do it justice and it is so true. It is absolutely gorgeous. It just reminds me of like an oil spill. Okay, I'm gonna go into the Modern Renaissance palette first of all. I'm gonna take this shade here that I can't pronounce so I'm just going to point at it. This shade is very cool toned. Which I don't mind, I really really like cool toned eyeshadows. Cool toned eyeshadows do not get as much love as they should be. So as you can see that Burberry liquid lipstick hasn't dried down yet. I hate mad. I actually really really like it. It's very very comfortable. So I'm just keeping this shade just within the crease and I'm just kind of being quite rough with my blend and I'm not being too precise. I'm just blending it just right into the inner corner and the outer corner, upper crease, brow bone, all that shit. So I'm going to take Supreme, just like that shade from the Modern Renaissance palette, I'm going to pop this just in my crease. Just want to see where this shade takes us. back into Modern Renaissance. I'm gonna take a wee bit of, no, I'm gonna go in with a love letter because I can pronounce that. <laughs> I'm not wanting this to be too pigmented. I'm just gonna use this to just deepen up that crease a bit more. Just gonna take a mixture between love letters and cypress umber. I'm gonna go on that Anastasia airbrush and just get that all a wee quick blend. I'm gonna take the Urban Decay Primer Potion. This is just a wee mini one. Then I'm just gonna pop this just all over the lid. Starting from the lash line and then just working my way up. Just going in pattern motions because I'm not wanting to disturb any of that shadow. I'm just gonna bring this up to the crease. This is the Jacqueline palette by the way I'm going to go in with, so I'm going to be taking a shade at the end. You can stop here if you wish, but I'm going to go a wee bit extra and apply some of the Makeup Edition Cosmetics 24 Carat Glitter. That's the 24 Carat and then I just looked out the Showbiz Glitter. So as you can see it's a nice bronze and that's kind of what I'm looking for so I might actually mix these two. Oh hell no. I am just going to go in with Showbiz just by itself. That is perfect. That is exactly what I was wanting. How does one get mascara on their shoulder? Oh my goodness. I don't really know if I like this makeup or not. Um, I don't know, I just... Yeah, no. <laughs> I'm definitely going to have to do a wee bit more research on this and if any of you guys have tried this or if you like it, don't like it, please do let me know in the comment section what you think of it, what, what did I do something wrong, I don't know, but yeah, I do think it has the potential to be a nice primer, a nice base, um, or to be a nice product just in general, but I don't know, it just looked like absolute crap on my skin. The Note Cosmetics, it was nice, definitely nothing special, nothing I would ever really beat somebody up to go and grab again. The Note Bronzer was very surprising, it was actually very very nice, because it was so pigmented it really did scare me a wee bit, um, and because it also did have a sheen to it as well, I'm definitely a matte bronzer kind of gal, but I think the fact that it does have a wee bit of a sheen to it actually did add a nice wee sheen to the skin just like a nice wee healthy bronze it was very very nice and also with the color it was very nice as well the Ofra highlight um it definitely wasn't for me um i'm not going to give it a bad review or anything because the reason it didn't work out for me is because i'm too light my skin tone is far far too light i would say if you had a darker skin tone than me this would work 
perfect on you. The Burberry liquid lipstick was absolutely beautiful. This just feels just like a really nice hydrating and moisturising formula with it being a matte formula but it doesn't dry down completely matte. It isn't drying on the lips. It definitely does stay quite hydrating on the lips to let you still have that bit of give and that bit of movement. The colour is absolutely gorgeous as well. I do think it really does complement this eye look. Beautiful, beautiful palette. I'm not going to talk too much because I will do another in-depth tutorial on it. But regardless of that, it is an absolutely beautiful palette. The packaging is just incredible. But the shades as well, absolutely beautiful. The Jeffree Star Scent Spray, very, very nice. It's just like the original Morphe one. Only he's stumped his name on it. He's made it pretty in pink. And there is a very artificial strawberry scent to it. Definitely will use this in the future. And it is very, very nice. Thank you so, so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Snapchat, Instagram and Twitter. And also my Depop will be listed down below as well. And yeah, again, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you all in my next video.